Hi, my name is uh, Professor uh, Nahum Goldberg. I am the Vice Chair for Research in the Department of Radiology at uh, Hebrew University in Jerusalem, and I'm also a Professor of Radiology at Harvard Medical School. There is no question that uh, research is one of the most enriching and important things that any uh, young or not so young uh, doctor can do uh, in their career. It is one thing to help an individual patient using knowledge that was gathered by others. It is so much more enriching to actually study and learn new creative ways for people to actually help thousands of patients by their research rather than just helping one individual. One of the things that a young physician must do in order to help the patient to the best of their ability is become proficient in the best tools possible. As we advance as a society technologically, uh, we are fortunately, through our research, bringing many of these devices to patient care, which improves the patient's life, assuming that it's used correctly. The best way to improve our ability is to gain experience, but of course we want to do that without hurting patients, only helping patients, and the best way to do that is with centers such as the one that you describe of uh, a simulation. So it is very critical in terms of our getting the best technology and to have the best experience with that technology to help the most patients in the best way possible. There is no question that the more we learn about disease processes and the better we match our knowledge with technologies that get at the root cause of those problems, that we're going to get better results for our patients. So there is a direct correlation between the proper use of cutting edge technology and getting good patient results. Our whole field of radiology is based upon getting the best diagnosis from the best imaging and in my subspecialty of interventional radiology using cutting-edge technology to enable us to treat patients without requiring surgery. Fortunately, we are in a very exciting time to be a physician. Because of the many rapid advances in technology, uh, there are many things that we as physicians that we can do to help patients that just didn't exist a dozen years ago and certainly a hundred years ago. So it would be very important for a student to learn as much about what we can do today and what we're likely able to do in the near future that should influence what uh, types of medicine uh, a student would like to go into. Clearly, one's personality has to match the appropriate field, but uh, getting a well-grounded appreciation of the technologies and the uh, cutting-edge strategies of the individual fields is an important component in helping somebody choose the right uh, medical school. It is very important to go to a center that will teach you not only to be a humanistic doctor and an ethical doctor, which is very important, but one that will give you the skills to enable you to continuously learn beyond the medical school. The best doctors and the best careers are those that build one day and one patient upon the next. And research is such an important component of that because it helps you understand how to think and how to apply what you know to the given patient and to ask the right questions to go on and become the best doctor and the best advocate for your patient. The only way to do that is to go to a 
school that forces you to think, to ask questions, to probe, and to make you to be the best person that you can be, so that you can be the best doctor, so you can help as many patients as possible.